Vacation time! Hey guys, Omar here, and today I wanna to share my Fuji kit that I'm bringing to Washington DC. We're going there for a couple of days, but next week we're going to Costa Rica, and uh, next year probably Europe. But most of us are moving along, moving on from huge DSLRs, so I wanted to share what kit I'm bringing on vacation, maybe what I used to bring, so let's go through that now. Okay, first, the bag. Recycled, reused bag, I, an old super camcorder bag. This used to hold a very big camcorder in there. Uh, it's called an Ambico. It's probably super cheap. It's got plastic thingies here, whatever. Why buy a new bag? Everything fits in here, look at that. <laughs> you know what's so funny is the Fuji X-T20 with the 28 millimeter 2.0, it fits right in the side pocket. It doesn't even need to go in this main pocket. Definitely the Fuji X-T20, uh, of course, for its size. And I love walking around with the, t the pancake lens. Like this is great in my shorts pocket or just hanging around my, you know, Fuji X100 style, yo. Look at me, tourist style, look at this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at that. Such a tourist, love it, love it. Uh, so this is great if you're just walking around I love the Fuji X-T20 pancake lens for just having one lens. The other one lens to walk around with, which I'm bringing is the 35 F2. Um, and I know some people are deciding between these two lens. I'll make a video on that and share my thoughts, uh, but I like having both. <laughs> this one totally for just bringing the camera alone with the lens and this one to be on the kit, you know, to be in part of the kit because this lens is amazing. Of course, the 56 1.2. We did a, a video on this travel style on that. That was, this picture was taken with that. Uh, but this gives you amazing bokeh of your locations. Um, and so this is gonna live in the bag, of course. So this one is the one that feels most DSLR-ish. It's kind of heavy. The kit lens. This is also a potential walk around. And when I'm thinking video as well, the 18 to 55, uh, kit lens is great for swing because I have it has image stabilization So this one is definitely a vacation lens and sometimes I bring Just the kit lens instead of the you know Just like this. So this is its normal travel mode. You got all your focal lens wide It goes to 55 so you get a great variety of vacation photographs and it has image stabilization so you could be all 4k videoing and it also is pretty small around the neck if you want me to model again mm. okay so versatile lens for vacation and this is the lens that most people have on the camera so this may be your whole travel kit right here which is great and for that i usually if i'm walking around i usually have a tiny bag this is the low pro edit 110 i've mentioned it many times but uh, the camera fits perfect in there. And so if you're in a restaurant, you could you know, put it in the little travel bag and uh, that's great. They don't make this bag anymore, but if you find yourself a little tiny bag, great. Now I did buy this think tank bag, uh, but it seems like you know my gear, the amount of gear has, I've outgrown it, you know, because now I have like the 56 1.2 doesn't fit so great in there. But this series, the Mirrorless Mover series, uh, they have larger ones, and so I may move up to that. But, okay, 56 1.2 for travel, beautiful. A little heavy, uh, you might wanna leave it behind, but, okay. Next, the Rokinon 12 millimeter F2. In the future, this may be the 16, people keep recommending that lens, and I haven't tried that lens yet, but um, in the same genre, this is the budget of the 16 millimeter 1.4, uh, but it is great for wide, takes beautiful landscapes, uh, does architecture fantastic. And if you don't really have a wide lens uh, and you know don't really shoot wide too much, this one is super budget. And so you could just have it in your bag in case, okay? It's a manual focus lens, so, but it's just really buttery smooth to focus. Oh my gosh, I just, I realized I look like Belloc. You remember Belloc? <laughs> From Indiana Jones. Okay, so the Rokinon definitely lives in there. Those are my four lenses right now in this little travel bag. So the kit is a little large, but it's a lot smaller than the DSLR kit 
that I used to have, which was like the 70 to 200, the 17 to 40, a Sigma 50. These are also such heavy lenses. And I think a lot of people for travel are trying to go smaller and more compact. And there's people that are coming from their phone. They want a camera, uh, but they don't want something as big as a DSLR. Now, issues with the Fuji X-T20, it is not weather sealed. And if you remember from my last trip, I dropped it in a little pond and it stopped working for a day. So for Costa Rica, it's the rainy season. I am gonna bring the Canon 5D Mark III. This is my backup camera from work, but I'm bringing this guy in case it's a monsoon and we're out with ponchos. I really wouldn't trust the Fuji X-T20 to be drenched, okay? Or any camera, by the way. Try to protect your gear from water. But for Costa Rica, I am gonna bring one lens and one DSLR and pretty much, oh, and the little pancake lens is also great. It works almost like a lens cap on the camera. Uh, so this is probably gonna be my little backup gear for Costa Rica, but for the most part, walk around with the same super budget video camera bag. I always get questions about the accessories on the camera. I've done videos on this before, but this is a, a quick release button. You can get these on Amazon, just Amazon quick, I'll link it up below. Uh, a quick release button. They have some that are concave and convex. I lost the convex one, and so I only have a concave one, but it's nicer than just, you know, having the, the, the regular button on there. Uh, the other stuff I have is aftermarket batteries. These little aftermarket batteries have been working great. I'll link those up as well. So for trip and travel for the Fuji X-T20, I usually have three batteries and I go through two in a day, okay? So you should be good with uh, like two batteries. The strap I use is the one that comes with the Fuji X-T20, but I, the system I use is the, uh, what's it called? Totally forgot everything. The Optech USA strap system. These are like mini clips. And so I like going from the neck strap to the, it must be in this budget pouch, yeah, in the front here. Uh, it goes really quick to wrist strap. And for the most part, if I, see, it goes wrist strap and I carry it around like this. And I do bring the grip along. So if you wanna make your Fuji X-T20 a little larger, you can get any kind of grip on there uh, to make the camera a little larger. So I do pack this as well. But again, depending on the situation, I either like to take it off or make the camera a little larger so it fits in the hand nice. I made a video on this. It was like Fuji travel modes and I'll link that up below as well. So not an ad for the Fuji X-T20 or the lenses in this commercial sorry, video, just sharing what I've been using. And again, I shoot Canon mostly for my professional work, but Fuji is for me when I travel, when I wanna do photography. I love the dials, I love the little red button. All right, happy travels guys, and I love you, man.